啊。And、uh, with great power comes great responsibilities. <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. Episode 15. Let's go. All right, what's up, dudes? Welcome to episode 15, and we're almost finished. We're getting there. Today we'll be going over the frames I've made. You know, the stuff that Spider-Man sees on, well, stuff that holds his eyes on his mask. So we'll just go over these four pairs that I've made for myself, and this will be a quick episode. So not much to it. Just gonna show you what I've made.、Um, as you can see. We well, I've made the frames, and they may look the same, but they are not the same. Let me explain why each one of them is different, and for different purposes. So, this one, let's get a good focus. This one, as you can see, it just flimsy, like bleh, you know.、Uh, I made this one for the case of when. Well, this one's made for a situation where if you have like a mask and you don't really want to do the whole under mask face show, whatever you want to call it, route, you can just glue this on your mask, on your fabric, whatever you want to call it.、Um, slap in some, you know, some mesh, and there you just you got yourself a little Spiderman mask. Reason why this is perfect for the situation is because. Yeah. So before I was really interrupted, these、uh, frames are good for a mask without an under mask or face shield. So you can just glue it on, slap on some mesh, whatever you want to use, and bam. And the cool thing about it is that this is what it does. This is why it's so cool. Bend it however you want. It's gonna bend to your face. Bam! And you have like a really nice frame. Super cool. Okay, moving on. These frames do the same thing, but they're more of like a higher end version of what I just showed you. So. You can do the same thing with these, but they cannot be com. Well, yeah, they cannot be conformed to a an under mask or a face show, whatever you want to call it. But they do the exact same um the same job.、And、plus, they look nicer. And see how reflective they are in the light. Jesus, look at that.、It's、so cool. And yeah, and if you bend them. Trying to get a good bend. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, yeah. And they come, they they come right back to its original shape. So these these two are the same, by the way. So they look nicer. Look at that. Oof, let me let me do. They look nicer. They do the same thing. You can just bend them, but not like that one. These bend, but not like that one. So. This is the same thing. These two frames are the same. So, and then moving on to the last one. If you already noticed, they're already bent 
because these are conformed to uh, my first face shell so they fit really nice nice and snug um, these cannot bend not like the other three sets they have to bend with heat so these are heat conformed to a to a to my mask pre my previous mask I have another mask that I'm already finished so these are made for like um, an under mask face shell so that's what makes these so cool and unique and different plus they're super hard and these I mean they're they're hard to an extent you know but you know um, it, it has its uh, special abilities you know <laughs> for each lens so yeah that's pretty much it um, this took me about four months to get the hang of like how to even like make one best believe I made about 30 pairs prior so I'm content with what I have now I have the look that I'm going for uh, everything must be everything's running smoothly so yeah um, I'll make another one because I have to I have a new facial that I'm already finished so the shape is gonna be really different as far as shape, I mean like conforming into a mask at least, it's going to be different. So, uh, yeah, this is what my lenses, my lenses look like now. I mean, frames. That's what they look like now, so I'm really excited I got that. Um, the mesh splatter inner part is the, the tricky part about it, but it's already done. Everything's set in stone. So I'll, you know, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.